North Birmingham deserted. CDC links rising health issues in North Birmingham to air and soil pollution. Big industry wins again. These are some potential headlines in the next five years that we, we see possible if no action is, is taken in the future. So who are we? We're the Community Health Advisory Panel. And our goals today are, are fairly simple. The first thing we'd like to do is provide health and safety information regarding the situation in North Birmingham. We'd like to develop a clear communication strategy for the residents of North Birmingham and act as a mediator between those residents and the agencies involved, like the EPA and the Jefferson County Department of Health. We'd like to suggest collaboration efforts with the community, identify potential funding sources for those efforts, and ultimately um, recommend an action plan, um, both for the short term and the long term. So it's, it's been decided that there, um, in the last, over the last 10 years, um, with two studies, that there are both air and soil pollution um, and contaminants from some of the industries in the North Birmingham area. Um, although these studies have shown uh, that it presents no major public health risk um, to major diseases and cancer. Um, what we have acknowledged is one piece of information that is lacking, however, um, is information about the health of individual individuals in this um, community area and so what we would like to do is collect more information in regards to the specific health issues um, in the population uh, things like asthma other respiratory illnesses and things that may be caused by some of these contaminants although we've already ruled out the fact that it, it may cause some of the more major illnesses so in order to do this we'd like to take an interdisciplinary approach by using nursing students uh, medical students and other professionals and even including health administrators to help organize this so that we can bring clinics and screenings into this community to determine if there are other health issues that are being caused by this pollution and contamination. In order to develop successful communication between this community and, and uh, the agencies involved, we'd like to um, send out quarterly mailings from the Jefferson County Department of Health, um, which may include um, updates on projects and renovations that are occurring uh, would also include an emissions tracker so that uh, residents of the area could see that the emissions uh, being released from some of these uh, industries in the area are being monitored by the Jefferson County Department of Health uh, to ensure that no further damage is being done to their, to their community. Um, and, and tips for residents on what to do and ways that they can get involved. Uh, community outreach, we'd also like to um, hear the voices of community members and, and to do that use community leaders to be spokespersons um, and also provide educational events and open forums so that can, uh, residents can, can uh, bring up issues that they may have with what's going on and, and be a part of the solution. And lastly, uh, f future actions that, that need to occur in order to prevent this from worsening um, or happening again in the future. Uh, continue to enforce policies uh, that, are occur that are in place um, to prevent more pollution. Um, apolo apologies. Um, Residents need to know that somebody is sorry for what has happened to them and for maybe the outcomes that have uh, occurred because of the industries in the area, not placing blame, but simply acknowledging that there are concerns that need to be addressed. And then again, just opening up um, communication and providing more transparency so that residents um, understand the situation and, and then can be a part of the solution. Progress for North Birmingham is going to come through an interaction of many different disciplines. Um, we believe that one institution is very uniquely positioned to drive this type of change is UAP. Um, one way we see them participating is through the professional schools. As Aaron alluded to, there are certain health uh, factors that have not really been uncovered. We know that some of the major diseases are not a direct link to this contamination. However, there are some slightly less uh, major illnesses that we believe are currently being driven by the pollution. We would like to establish through the professional schools, dentistry, optometry, medicine, nursing, and even health administration, uh, in conjunction with something like the container to clinic philosophy, which allows us to take health clinics to the North Birmingham community, a facility that cannot really uh, support a, tr a traditional brick and mortar clinic, to really assess the health of the residents and move forward. We'd also like to see the Edge of Chaos, uh, UAP's innovation shop, really drive innovative ways to assist the cleanup and revitalization of North Birmingham. One program that we see is uh, having a lot of promise for this are community gardens. Whether it's a greenhouse or raised bed gardens, this has a two-pronged approach. One, it will help bring about a nutritious diet for a community that is currently really uh, at, have limited access to fresh fruits and vegetables. In addition, the, the mental impact of drawing something from the soil and taking it into your body and realizing that it's not harmful will help 
kind of hit home the message that there is some contamination and there is some pollution. However, it is not, it is a safe place to live and this is a very good step towards that. Finally, the schools of public health and engineering. We believe that the school of public health can, with their policy center focus, drive the development of an action plan. Um, also, that the school of engineering, in conjunction with the edge of chaos, can really come up with innovative ways to implement that action plan. Um, on a service level, the leadership and service council here at UAB can organize into the street functions where we go out into the community and assist in the, in the community cleanup and education that is, is called for in the action plan. And in addition to that, the Greek life can have house-based service projects that aid the community much the same way as the LSC. It is worth noting that we believe there are other colleges in the area that can help with this process, like Birmingham Southern and Sanford. However, with UAB's unique focus on research and health, we believe they're in the best position to really drive this type of change at the institutional level. So Aaron and Carol have outlined a lot of wonderful solutions um, that can help the community to um, better the community members in their life. However, without successful um, financial resources, these programs won't be able to be implemented. So we suggest a three-pronged strategy for funding the programs. Um, one is partnering with local community organizations. Two is using grants. And then three is a new innovative technique called community funding or microfunding. So with the um, local community partnerships that we hope to establish, we um, would like to reach out to the Community Foundation of Greater Birmingham, which already offer an array of services such as financial education or educational programs for children in the area, and um, especially community gardening. Um, community gardening. Also, we think that the Birmingham Business Alliance would be a good resource for funding, um, as there are large businesses in the Birmingham area, and they all set aside philanthropic funds each year in their budget. So we think that if we can dive into those funds, we could possibly have um, a good um, basis for starting these programs. Secondly, we want to focus on grants. Um, and as we all know, writing a grant and getting approved for a grant is um, somewhat of a daunting task. And so we propose that we, as a community, hold a student competition for students um, in local universities to um, have a grant writing um, competition to see uh, for students who are interested in writing grants or who want to go into the field of um, fundraising, this would give them an opportunity to get experience while also helping the community members um, learn how to write their own grants so it's more of a sustainable program as they as the students transition through college. We want to focus on EPA grants um, as there are um, the EPA is a large um, player in this market we think that they'll help with um, funding for our programs and then also FundsNet services it's a large database um, of national and statewide grants that businesses sponsor and we think that that would be a good resource for the community and then lastly we want to focus on microfunding or community funding and basically how this works is that individuals or groups um, develop a profile on a website and individuals or um, groups can go onto this website read their profile read what their goals are for the community or for the project and they can individually donate to it so if, if I go on and read about producing clean energy um, for residential and industrial use, and I think that's a great idea, I can donate $5 to them. And um, as more people donate, the funds are being met. And so um, this, in particular, this profile, it took three weeks for them to be 100% funded. And we think that this would be a great innovative way to develop the resources that we need for the programs to be implemented. So we've thrown a lot at you in a couple of minutes, and we'd um, just like to summarize everything that we have um, outlined for you. So obviously we have an action plan, um, and we have short-term actions and then long-term actions. So the short-term actions, we really think that we need to develop better communication between community members and government organizations and local organizations. So we think that we should develop a quarterly progress report or newsletter to go out to the um, community. Also, the community gardens will help develop that sense of camaraderie. Um, to begin medical screening so that we can get the health status on paper and use that for research and data. And then the workshops to help community members um, formulate an action plan to go forward. And then obviously long term, the container to clinic program, uh, we need to take legal and political action to make sure that these environmental problems don't happen again in this community or in other communities across the state. And then lastly, um, working with local universities to develop research and grant funding.